I enjoyed a five course meal on one of the best airlines in the world. And you'll never believe what was outside my window. The A380 is the largest passenger craft in the world. True. True or false? Singapore Airlines sold seats on their A380 to ticket holders who knew they were not going to fly. True. True or false? These non-flying seats sold out in 10 minutes. True! Event for Globe camped at the computer in hopes of getting a ticket to Singapore Airlines Restaurant A380, a special event that has risen out of COVID-19. We were selecting our seats the second they appeared and yet we kept getting error messages after error messages because the site was overwhelmed with traffic. Evidently, the locals are very kiasu. When we realized that all tickets were sold out in less than 10 minutes, we were shocked, but not all that surprised. We kept our hopes up and put ourselves on the wait list. When we found out that two business class seats had been released, we were on cloud nine. Buckle your seatbelt and we'll take you on an eventful flight down memory lane. I'm Jerry. Welcome to Event for Globe, your guide to event for events all around the globe. Here we are in Singapore, experiencing the first ever on-ground dining on Singapore Airlines A380. In addition to a limited edition meal, this event also included an exclusive tour of this impressive aircraft and plenty of fun activities while we waited. Our journey begins in the world's number one airport, Changi Airport. Last year, Changi Airport opened the crown jewel of the airport, which is named Jewel. Changi Jewel features the world's largest indoor waterfall that comes to life in the night with song and dancing lights amidst a beautiful canopy which hides mazes, playgrounds, and much more. Jewel is so stunning, it's a must-see for anyone coming through or just passing through Singapore. To catch our future video of Changi Airport, as soon as it launches, do as us Singaporeans, get kiasu. Hit the subscribe and bell buttons for notifications. The check-in process was smooth, inviting, and admirable. You've probably noticed we've created an acronym to match Singapore Airlines SIA. All these exemplify Singapore Airlines high service standards, which were maintained throughout the event. We checked in via the National Contact Tracing app and had our temperatures taken. We were handed invitations instead of boarding passes and rather comically tagged like bags. So we and the staff can easily check our seat numbers. For some mysterious reason, we were required to surrender our passports, which they kept safe for us throughout the event. We haven't come to a consensus as to why they had to hold our passports. Have a theory? Share it with us in the comments below. Signs held by friendly SIA volunteers guided us to the gate. These arches 
ensure we didn't interact with inbound or transiting passengers prior to the COVID test quarantine period. Before we entered the waiting area, we had to go through the usual bags and body scans and were subjected to the same strict requirements as passengers boarding a flight. No liquids, no shops, you know the drill. The stewards and stewardesses even showed up wheeling pretty much empty luggages. All these really made us feel as though we were going on a very special flight. To show my love for my national airline, I arrived dressed in SIA's iconic uniform. This made me the boss of the stewardesses dressed in green and blue. Alright, you got me. I also dressed up as such because I'm a Kiasu Singaporean who couldn't resist the promise of a mystery gift for those of us who showed up in ethnic costumes. Let's unravel my mystery gift! Wow, what a beautiful umbrella that uses the SIA pattern! This same batik design in red can be found on the gorgeous roses, which all guests were given. I had a choice of a ready-made one, or to make my own. I obviously had to try my hand at making one, and I'm very pleased with the result. Next to the rose crafting booth, there was a booth showcasing the evolution of Singapore Airlines uniforms through the ages. This is such a popular dress amongst young Singaporean girls that many of us, myself included, have worn one of these to our school's Racial Harmony Day and International Friendship Day celebrations. In this waiting area, we were kept meaningfully entertained before our tour of the A380. The highlight of the tour has to be the meet and greet with the captains in the cockpit. I also particularly enjoyed entering the first class and business class cabins on the upper deck which I've never before been allowed to. Passengers aren't allowed on the stairs, but on this special day, exceptions were made. Actually, given that I was part of the cabin crew, I was still following the rules. Can you spot the differences between her dress and mine? The official uniform looks better for reasons, including the fact that they are tailor-made with cloth exclusive to SIA. It's actually forbidden for SQ girls to sell their uniforms as they are supposed to cut up their old uniforms each year. The thought of cutting up this beautiful buttock makes me weep. I cheered up after she shared that many SQ girls reuse the cut up cloth to sew bags and pillowcases. Creative, right? As the crew lined up to board, Applause and cheers erupted throughout the gate area. It's been a long time since any of us boarded a plane, and the celebratory atmosphere was contagious. Now, let's move on to the main part of the event. Our five-course dinner with options from acclaimed Singaporean chef Shemay Lee and SIA's own chefs. I didn't get to see her, but I got a photo with the chef who served our plane. Being a sucker for limited edition experiences, I chose the Shimei Lee selection. Here's my review of my dining experience in the business class of restaurant A380. This is the welcome drink moments that you see like really refreshing. Yeah, the satay looks really good. Probably the best satay I've ever had. The meat's really thick, juicy, and the peanut sauce is delicious. Chinese bottles just before they fizzle out. Cheers. Oh, so lovely. 
really like. May I offer you a selection of bread rolls? Yes, please. What are the options? Okay, we've got the multi grain bread. We've got the uh, normal bread, and of course, we have our famous uh, garlic bread. Wow, and, okay. And uh, some lavosh for you to try. Wow. wow. Mm, may I try the famous garlic bread sure. and the lavosh, please? Of course. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Please enjoy. Thanks. May I have some olive oil? Olive oil, with that, sure. Right. Some olive oil for you, yeah? Thank you. Thank you. For the appetizer, I was served a cold dish with chicken prawns and jellyfish and a bit of lettuce, topped with coleslaw dressing. This tasted fresh and the jellyfish reminds me of Chinese weddings, as that's the only time I eat this delicacy. I don't really like eating jellyfish. My main course was paired with wine. I chose Nonya Grandma's Nasi Lamak, an aromatic and fluffy jasmine rice infused with coconut served with a fish in a tangy tamarind turmeric sauce, rich sambal prawns, fried ikan bilis, and refreshing cucumber pickles. Curry pork and sambal was on the side to dip and snack. Nasi lemak is one of my favorite local dishes, and I think this was a good example. The prawns and the non-spicy sambal were delicious. I love how crispy the anchovies were but was disappointed that the karapok, the prawn cracker, wasn't crispy enough for me. The wine selection was great, and I enjoyed the French red. That was very smooth and dangerously easy to drink. For dessert, I got a salty, sweet gula malaka ice cream sandwiched between thin, crunchy wafers. I liked that the dessert was a local treat that reminds me of my childhood. Times when I used to buy ice cream sandwiches from the ice cream uncle, which is a uniquely Singaporean experience. And although the ice cream flavor was not one of the typical flavors, I thought that was quite refreshing. That said, the flavor is still a local flavor, Gula Malaka. Being a dessert devil, I could not resist trying the mango cheesecake from the SIA International menu. I'm so glad I tried it. It was awesome! As cake queen, I give it my royal stamp of approval. The cheese selection included generous portions of three types of cheeses, plus fig jam and crackers. I'm not a blue cheese person, but our cameraman is, and he really enjoyed it and said it was mild but complex. I'll take his word for it. Finally, we were served an assorted fresh fruit platter. I love the healthy and sweet ending to this wonderful meal. I'm gonna open up today's special carrot pack. If our video has made your heart flutter, please land your plane on our like, share, and subscribe, and bell buttons. If you've enjoyed this video, be sure to check out our written review on Simple Flying. You can find the link in the description below, along with links to our website for photos and more information on other events. Thank you for journeying with Event for Glow. We hope to see you again. Goodbye.